And then Sister Karen also um, relied upon Michael in the beginning and then on me to uh, uh, house sit and uh, dog sit. She had dogs? Oh yes, one dog, Jacoby. What kind of dog was he? Mutt. Talked a lot. Never shut his mouth. Like Frank? What? What did you say? Bring me another beer, woman. <laughs> Jacoby was Sister Karen's partner in crime. Wherever she went, he went. And then he had to stay there. When's she coming home? And uh, Pobrecito got hit once or twice. Uh, kind of rumbled, but not hit. You know, oh, my arms, my legs are broken. Mad X. No, it was like, uh, we come by, chewed up, he'd be on the neighborhood, the, the body of dogs, he'd watch out, who's that widow? And he was a little white dog, right? Uh, I don't know, he had short hair, white, and he'd come back and, you know, Jacoby was Jacoby, and we'd mess with him, but he was already an old dog and stuff, he, he was like Sister Karen, like, hey, you ain't gonna mess with me. And uh, Sister Karen would uh, leave him with us to hop sit. My kids loved it because, hey, we were just somewhere else from the apartment. We'd go there and she had a bigger screen TV, stereo, and a refrigerator full of stuff she would fill up for us. And then we just, you know, even if, sometimes even a week, you know. Well, that was seldom, but it was just like a few days. And it was just a, a, an experience away from home for the kids. And it was still having to take care of my kids who were younger than and so actually my kids grew up in South Park graphics for those 10 years. And, you know, as little ones up to, you know, about the age of... We should interview them. Then they're 12. Yeah. We should interview them. Oh, yes, yes. Because there's little adventures there, mm -hmm. or whatever happened there. My son Pablo lost the tip of his finger there one day, <laughs> having a lot of fun. And, ah! <laughs> you know, what's wrong? Oh, look, there's the tip of his finger.